Hello there, my name is Dan Adams and I am the Head of A-Levels at Cronton Sixth Form College. Thank you for joining me for this short video on potential revision techniques to make sure you reach your full potential. Now there are a wide range of different techniques that you could use and you've got to find the technique that best works for you. However, I'm just going to run through a few that most students find extremely helpful. One of the top ones to do is a mind map. Now these are absolutely brilliant where in the middle of your mind map you place a potential exam question or a topic area and you have lots of legs that come off which give you different notes to remember. It might be stats or facts or figures or quotes that you need to remember linked with that particular topic or exam question. Now my biggest bit of advice is to make it nice and colourful with diagrams and pictures as well. Your brain is very clever. It associates information with colours and pictures. It's called dual coding. Another potential strategy you could use is flashcards. What we advise you to do with flashcards is on one side of the flashcard, state a particular topic or exam question, and on the back of the flashcard, produce the answer. Now the point of these flashcards is you can test yourself. Maybe your parents and guardians can also test you as well. And the idea around this is, is to help you associate the information with different exam questions. Again, we would suggest you use lots of colour. The next potential strategy you might consider doing is doing lots of posters. And it's brilliant to do lots of posters. You can put them around your bedroom, around the house. I would always suggest put them in places where you look quite a bit at. Another possible technique that you might want to use is online quizzes. There's plenty of different platforms out there, including Quizlet, Kahoot, Caboodle, and there's plenty more, including BBC Bite Size as well. Now these are fantastic apps and websites that will help you test your information. Now, what you can do is make your own test, which what I would recommend, because you've been able to create a test, is always really useful, it helps you to revise the content. However, there are also plenty of them already created on each of these platforms. Now these are absolutely fantastic because each of them have a game option. So you can play different games to help you remember the facts, the figures, the quotes, the equations that you might need for each of your different subjects. A final technique is the use of podcasts. This is a brilliant opportunity for you to have your headphones in on the way to school or college. You can have your headphones in listening to a podcast. Now, some of my students in the past have even actually created their own podcasts by using the voice recorder on their phone and actually they talk through the revision guide to themselves, to their own phone. And then they listen to this while they're walking to meet their friends or while they're on the bus or while they're just around the house doing housework. I hope at least one of these techniques will help you to revise. My suggestion is to try as many different techniques as possible because each different technique might work and be effective for different people. So good luck with your revision and we hope to see you very soon.